oh god nothing like starting the day with a little go-go juice gotta have my tea or uh you know you wouldn't like me when i'm angry kind of thing but hey guys i'm jim i edit photos thanks for stopping by i'm in on one photo raw 2021 today and i'm having fun i've been playing with the ai quick mask function which in a nutshell is basically just kaboom i mean it's mind-blowing it's so powerful and so awesome and so accurate and um, that makes for a lot of fun when you're editing a photo. So I've got a photo, I'm gonna walk through kind of how it works. I've got this photo, I've done a few minor things to it here in the develop tab. If I turn off preview, there it is before, and there it is after. As you can see, I did some things here, brighten the shadows, a little bit of color work, that sort of stuff. That's kind of the basics. I'm gonna skip that in this video and go straight into adding filters and showing you how AI Quick Mask works and how I'm using it to really target specific areas, mask them in quickly and move on because I love to edit photos, but everybody else doesn't want to sit and play with a photo forever. People like to get things done quickly and move on. This tool will help you do that. So first filter I'm going to add is the HDR look, and I'm just going to use the standard settings here that it defaults to, which is compression of 100, detail of 20. And a scene like this, what I want to do is add that HDR look um, to the rocks, the tree, things like that, but I don't want it in the water and I don't want it in the sky. If you've been here before, you know, in previous videos I talk about liking smooth skies and smooth water. It's just a thing, but regardless whether you like it or not, it's kind of immaterial. This uh, demo is about how you can use this tool. So you click on the masking tool there and then you come up here to the top and you've got different options. You got the masking brush, you got the masking bug, but you've got the AI brush. Uh, so you click on that and you have the AI quick mask tool. Now your mouse will show either a, uh, a minus sign or you can hit shift X and now it's a plus sign. And that's the mode changing from keep to drop. So keep is here's what I want to keep in the photo and drop is here's what I want to get rid of in the photo. Or I should say, here's where I want the edit to apply, which would be keep, keep the edit in these areas or drop, don't apply the edit in these areas. So. What I'm going to say is I'm going to drop the HDR look from the sky and the water. So let me just get my mouse. And all you do is you just take your little minus sign and you can just drag it around here. Uh, you don't have to be accurate and you definitely don't have to cover the whole thing. That's what's AI about it. So I'm going to put this uh, down here as well. I don't want any of that water being affected. So you know what? That's enough. That's fine. Now I'm going to hit Shift X and go to Keep. And I want to tell them to keep this kind of stuff. So I want to keep all that. I want to keep all that. I want to keep that rock and that rock. I want to keep that rock and these rocks. I want to keep a little bit of that. And then I want to keep this area over here, including the tree. Maybe a little bit more there just for grins. So I've basically just hacked my screen up, made it look kind of weird with these green and red worms or whatever you want to call them. Um, running all over the photo, but all I've done is basically said, I want the HDR look to be applied where it's green, and I want it not to be applied where it's red. So I've basically outlined the photo, and then all you do is you hit apply, and you give it a moment, moment and you let the AI kind of calculate, and hey, that was quick, and hey, that was accurate. I mean, look at that. That is really well done. Now, there's a couple areas where it probably needs a little refinement, and that's okay, because how long would it take you to mask this? Now, if I wasn't sitting here talking, I could have done that in a few seconds, right? So the fact that you have to go back and maybe add another little bit there, and here's a couple little spots or whatever, um, you know, come in and do that and hit apply again, and there you go, it's just tighten that up. So I think that looks pretty fantastic, to be honest. And as I said, I'm pretty blown away at how powerful that is. The other thing that really gets me, by the way, is just how accurate it is. I mean. Look at this. This just looks fantastic. That's exactly what I wanted. Now, if I wanted to go back in and drop a little bit more of that water, I could come in here and do that and get in here and customize the image a tiny bit more if I wanted to and hit apply. And there you go. I mean, look at that. That is just literally uh, AI at work. That is how AI works, my friends. And I love that. I know some people have have kind of groused online about, hey, AI is gonna take away your creativity and stuff. <laughs> no way, I don't see that at all. I see it making things easier for us and I love that. So I'm gonna say done and uh, when I click done, it's just gonna apply that HDR look to the areas I wanted to apply it. So now if I turn this off, you can see no HDR look anywhere and now HDR look just where I wanted it, including around that you know, in the tree, in the rocks, that sort of thing, but not in the water or the sky. That is the incredible power of AI Quick Mask. Now here's the best part about it is, I can say copy, 
and I copy that mask, and now I'm gonna go add another filter, and this one's gonna be noise reduction, because what I wanna do is come in and smooth out that sky and water a little bit more. So I'm just gonna click on strong and let it pick those settings, and now it's applying everywhere, of course. So I'm gonna go into the masking, and I'm gonna say paste. Now it's just pasted the exact same mask, so I gotta invert it or flip it. So I'm gonna say invert, and now if I hit view, you can see that the mask is, remember, white reveals, black conceals. So this noise reduction, which is smoothing for me, is being revealed where it's white and being concealed where it's black. In other words, the noise reduction is going into the sky and the water and nowhere else. So I've smoothed out those areas with like, what, two clicks, three? And so I've got super powerful, amazing capability right at my fingertips. Now, to wrap this photo up, I'm gonna do a couple of global filters and then another quick mask. The first global filter I'm gonna do is tone enhancer. And what I wanna do is take the exposure down just a little bit, it's a little bit too dark for me, the fo or excuse me, a little bit too bright for me. So about there with exposure, I'm gonna do contrast of about you know 25 or 30, something about like that. Highlights are coming down like a negative 30, maybe about like that, and the blacks are going up just a little bit, like 10 or 11. So I'm not masking this tone enhancer, I'm applying this globally, which is what's one of the great things about On One. You can flip back and forth between applying them globally or selectively with different kinds of masks. But there's before tone enhancer and there's after. I've just created a little bit more mood. And in fact, I think I'm gonna lift the shadows a little bit just to get a little bit more brightness into that part of the photo. So here's my tone enhancer before and after. I'm liking that. I'm gonna get another filter, and this one is gonna be color enhancer. And these are gonna be pretty minor moves. I just wanna bump the color a little bit. I'm gonna do like a negative three or so on temperature and like a positive two or three on tint. And I'm just gonna give it a little bit of bump and vibrance, so like a 15 or 16. Just trying to pop that photo a little bit. I do like my color, so I'm trying to bring that up. But there's before and there's after pretty minor, to be honest. Okay, so I like where I am, but I wanna apply one more filter, and that's gonna be the sunshine filter. However, in this case, uh, I'm gonna add a little bit of warmth um, and a little bit more amount. I just like what it's doing, but I like primarily what it's doing to the landscape. I'm just gonna kinda play with this a little bit more. I don't really like what it's doing to the sky, so if I show you the before and the after, it's warming up and giving a little bit of pop to the foreground, but it's kind of making the sky a little bit more washed out. So there it is before and after. So I kind of want to use the AI Quick Mask just to apply this to the foreground. So once again, click on the masking tool or that window and then click on AI Quick Mask. And the first thing I'm gonna do is shrink my mouse. So I'm in drop mode, which means I don't want to apply it wherever I put red. So I'm gonna run the red here across the sky, something about like that. And then I'm gonna change to keep. And in this case, I'm gonna make my mouse a whole lot bigger simply because I'm just gonna keep everything down here. So something about like that, and then I'm just gonna click apply. And you can see immediately it just figured that out. It literally took no time at all. So I'm gonna shrink my mouse and just click a little bit in here once again and hit apply, and there you go. I mean, I've basically got a nearly perfect mask. I'm gonna click done, and there we go. If I show you my mask, there it is. You can see it's beautiful along the edges, it's beautiful along the tree. All those things are perfectly impacted by sunshine, and this guy is untouched. So there it is before, and there it is after. Now, if for some reason you felt like the sky was a little bit too dark, you could add tone enhancer and brighten the exposure a little bit, and then just copy this mask and paste it and invert it. So once again, I've isolated this time the foreground and the sky, whereas before I isolated the kind of the hard surfaces like the trees and the rocks and the mountain uh, versus the water and the sky. So. You can quickly and easily create these masks with AI Quick Mask. It's just mind blowing how powerful it is and how quick that works. And that allows me to really quickly go in and target specific areas, make those impacts and move on to my editing. So let me turn off preview. There it is before and there's my current state. And if I do the sliding window, you can see how different this photo is. I've been able to quickly come in and target specific areas with the AI Quick Mask and apply those and make my photo look the way I want my photo to look. It's quick, it's easy, it's powerful. Honestly, it's kind of mind blowing. It's amazing. I love AI Quick Mask. That's how it works. Hope it helps my friends. I'll be back with more On One videos. If there's anything you want me to take a look at in On One, let me know. I'm building out more and more videos around it. I do like the product, it's working great for me. I'll be back really soon. Take care of yourselves, have fun editing. I'll see you in the next video, and adios.